Hey guys, it's Rob J here, and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at my European Fire Ants after they've just come out of hibernation. It's a little bit early, but as you found out in the last video, I brought them out due to a power cut that interrupted their hibernation cycle. So as they were all waking up very hungry, I um, ended up just bringing them straight out of hibernation and started heating them. But it's only a little bit early so it's not the end of the world and they're doing really well the queens are laying at full speed we did have some die-offs but very very few we're talking like 20 ants out of the whole lot um, and they're more than likely just the old ones anyway the queens have all started laying a large amount of eggs which is exactly what you want for your queens when they come out of hibernation that just shows you that you know they are ready to uh, get going straight away so the colony itself is doing really well plenty of workers they're eating well one of the best things about these species is that they keep a clean nest and they also are really not fussy when it comes to eating they will swarm pretty much all food sources it's really quite good because them be not being fussy means they're always well fed which will speed up the development of the colony so it's a bit of a win-win when it comes to that sort of thing and they are growing at quite a nice rate um, I still think the size 3 is fine for now I know it looks very busy in there but that's exactly how ant nests are anyway but I will get them probably a size 8 very soon I do wish the size 8 had sort of like um, little corridor blockers so you could add a few chambers um, as they needed it but I'll have to just go straight to a size 8 a size 4 is hardly worth it for the time um, anyway this here is them having some mealworms and some uh, pink lady apple uh, sprinkled in sugar and as you can see they really do enjoy their food within about 10 minutes a lot of their mealworms will be taken into the nest and they'll actually be put on top of the brood now I know a lot of ants practice this but in practicality they normally don't actually do it they normally just eat it and then pass it around and feed the um, young directly but these go through the trouble of actually dragging the entire carcass in Anyway guys, that's been a quick update on my European fire ants. Hope you enjoyed the video, I've got plenty more planned and plenty more coming along in the pipelines. So I'll catch you in the next video, do pop a like on this. Thanks a lot.